day. Well, we are inside the medical uh, medical simulation lab this morning here at Luke. I have Flight Commander Yvonne Story with me this morning, and I got to tell you, when I first walked in here, I was really taken aback. It's very um, lifelike, but I guess that's the point. That is correct. We want to prepare our folks to go down range and take care of our patients, so we try to make it as lifelike as possible. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're literally saving lives. So, so talk about uh, what some of the airmen are doing here this morning. So our airmen, this uh, mannequin has gunshot wounds and amputations. So we are filling all uh, areas that we can with combat gauze. We're applying tourniquets. We're also doing some CPR. This mannequin will move its legs. It will also bleed out as well, and we can apply tourniquets in the right places to stop the bleeding so that we're prepared to go out to the field. They're, they're very high tech for, for mannequins and so they're remote controlled. Absolutely. Who's controlling them? My friend Mark there in the back, my awesome operator, is <laughs> controlling each and every mannequin. They'll blink at you, they'll talk to you. Um, so he's awesome and he's back there doing the hard work. Yeah, I think he was laughing at us a moment ago. So yeah. He was making the mannequins laugh when I was standing over next to them. And I almost appreciate that. It lightens the mood a little bit. It, it's kind of hard to be in here. These are scenes that, that you've seen in person. Yeah. You've been deployed and, and, you, and you, were, you were in Afghanistan. Tell me about what you were doing there. I was an operating room nurse in Afghanistan and we'd get the injuries right from the field and we would um, continue on with taking care of any amputations that came through, any gunshot wounds. And so this really uh, helps our airmen get prepared to go out. These are the wounds that they're going to see. These are the gunshot wounds that they're going to have to deal with. And for those of you who've already seen this kind of stuff, is it, is it tough to come right back in here and see it it's simulated and I guess kind of necessary? You know, we rely on the help of our fellow airmen to deal with things when we return from deployment, our families, our communities. So thank everyone for supporting our, our military. We really appreciate you because when we come back from overseas and from those hard assignments, mm -hmm. it's you that get us through it. Yeah, and well, we appreciate everything that you do. You said these mannequins also get moved. They go out into the community for, for different simulations, uh, you know, in case there is a disaster here at home. That's correct. We also take our mannequins over to Scottsdale area where we have some nurses training out there and get them ready to go out into our various hospitals to work as nurses mm -hmm. and we do on every Wednesday of the month we have a training day mm -hmm. and sometimes those training day are disaster drills wow. so we'll go out with our mannequins to help with that. Important work we can't thank you uh, enough thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for being with us this morning. It's a little bit tough to see Gina, but you can understand why it's so necessary. Yeah, I do. I thank you for showing us around, giving us that insight, April. That's just